if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos run sql server 2014 this is database server mm, sql server 2014 is connected and this tutorial i will show how to restore sql server 2014 database in sql server 2008 r2 uh, this is db server and the uh, version is sql server 2008 r2 okay now both are connected i'm going to help about see that for your confirmation sql server 2008 r2 here i will restore sql server 2014 database okay now there is no bond db go to the database server expand the database folder see that bond db i will generate a script and i will uh, restore the bond db in sql server 2008 r2 the ra the record in this table okay now right click on bond db right click on database click on task and click on generate script yes click on choose object select a specific database object you can select a script and enter all database object okay uh, else you can select a specific database object okay now i am just selecting a script enter database and all database object next and this is default location see user option documents script.sql the file will store a script file will store in the document folder so i am just rename the script script name a script of bond db click on advance here you must select uh, the script draw and create just uh, create a script if you need you can uh, select a script draw and create or a script draw. okay now i am just selecting uh, a script, uh, create a script a script create okay now a script for server version where you will store this restore this script now where you will run this script i will run this script in sql server 2008 r2 in that case i am just selecting sql server 2008 r2 okay now the on uh, more important thing is type of data and script you must select script as schema and data if you select schema only it will uh, only uh, it will generate script as only schema and data only data okay now table view option in the table view option you must select all true in uh, foreign key full text index index primary key trigger and unique key all must selected as true click on ok and uh, it's done now just uh, i'm just checking the folder where the uh, script will generate this is the document folder now there is no script in the document folder when i will click next and uh, uh, i'm just click, select, uh, clicking next yes and then click next yes the script is generated as a script of bond db now it's uh, all the uh, table uh, schema and data is uh, in progress it takes few uh, few minutes uh, it's depend on your uh, machine speed okay now uh, script is successfully generated now i will uh, this is uh, this is the size of uh, 64 mb now copy the script and i will store it in network drive my network drive is abdullah itiras folder here i will uh, keep the script so that i can take it in a different machine different computer this uh, this uh, computer name is database server and now i am uh, switching in the computer is db server and this is the the, the version of sql is uh, sql server 2008 uh, r2 there is no bond db in that case i am accessing the my network drive script of bond db uh, just uh, copy this uh, co uh, just copy and paste i'm just pasting in uh, in my drive d drive database folder yes it's copied yes uh, yes 25 second remaining 15 10 second okay done now just uh, double click on the script yes 
I just double click on the script yes now the script is uh, added in the uh, in uh, in my SQL server see that these are the data and schema now uh, selecting master just click on execute yes oh it's executing oh error in location at creating MDF and LDF file uh, I, I have to uh, change the location this is the location of that machine but this is different machine so the uh, file name folder name uh, all are not equal so uh, I am just uh, accessing the folder C program file Microsoft SQL server yes MS SQL 10 15 MS SQL server click on uh, data double click on data this is the location where the MDF and LDF file will be stored uh, just copy this location and paste it in uh, the uh, script uh, yes now just paste it see that there is a, a, a bit uh, mismatch that's why it's not uh, executing okay paste it in both file name now it's done just click on execute okay execute it's executing yes successfully executing it takes few minutes depending on your database size in my uh, machine it takes 12.3334 minutes okay it's done these are the record uh, success masses uh, yes now just replace the database yes bond DB added expand the database and expand the table check the record whether it's uh, added or not yes exp inverse select of 1000 rows yes the record also added in the sql server 2008 r2 and check here also yes this is the uh, table and this is the table in the both server sql server